My meat was on the floor. That little sequence where I threw my my lunch on the boat. Yeah, well, my meat just flopped on the floor. I know that may not look look appetizing to you, but I'm just I'm on that protein grind, eating nothing but protein. Hey, welcome back, leaders. It's good to see you guys again. We've uh, driven up north because you know that's what you normally do when a cold front comes in. You go farther up north, follow where the winds are high and things are chilly. So I don't know really. I don't really get my logic today, but. Uh, I'm very excited to come out here and film a video for you guys. Get after it. We're fishing a new lake. This is one of my favorite things to do ever. Figuring out a unfamiliar body of water can be challenging, but can be very rewarding if we do catch fish. And I'm also always looking for new bodies of water to fish. I get kind of bored fishing the same stuff over and over again. So that's my goal for today. Uh, this lake's called Ammon G. Carter. I believe that's how you pronounce it. It's a clean lake. It's got grass, brush, big bass. The lake record's like 14 pounds. So there's good genetics in here. And Alex and I are just going to try to dissect this this body water and hopefully make a day of it. So stick with us, stay tuned, and let's go crank some fish. Yum, 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 that was good. You're really missing out. Put a little Traeger rub on it. Oh, call it a week. That's a spicy meatball. We're gonna get kicked off with a jerk bait, one of my favorite fall winter baits out there. Something about the twitch, twitch, pause this time of year gets them going. It's a really erratic, fast moving presentation, but when you stop it, I think it kind of gives them an opportunity to chase it down and crunch it. So we're gonna throw this Guggen Squad Scout around. Never fished this place before, don't know a lick about this body of water, but that's what's exciting, is it's gonna be kind of a ground level up mission. Hopefully we can at least get a few bites, a few opportunities, zero expectations. And I mean zero expectations for today's send. Uh, we'll see though. I'm just gonna look for submerge wood and deep breaks and any warm water that we can find. There's one. We're on. We're on. There's a fish. Feels okay too. Oh yeah, look at that. Little largemouth. Ate it on the paws. Nothing like, ooh. Anus hooked, my favorite way to catch them. Right in the booty cheeks, like literally in the butt. <laughs> there you have it, skunk off the boat. It's been a minute since I fished off the lawn. It feels good to be out here kicking the dust off the rig and why am I holding it like a two-year-old? There we go. <laughs> First fish of the day. It's a start, we'll take it. You see ya, Baba? You. My juices are definitely flowing. He clocked it like a freaking, you know, 30 pound strike bass. Look at all that junk down there too. My gosh, we are in it. We are in it. There's one. Hit it right on the, oh wow, that feels pretty decent. What do I have here? This feels pretty good, dude. It's got me in the wood, but it feels good. This actually might be a good fish. Oh, you're kidding me. I knew it was fighting weird. Gasper goo. <laughs> just crushed, just crushed my jerk bait. Dude, I always catch these guys when it's cold. I think they honestly like the cold weather because every time I fish on overcast days, I get these things to bite. That's honestly the first time I ever caught one of a jerk bait though. That is very, very weird. Okay. He ate it head first too, like a large amount. But he's got some LMB genetics or something. That's hilarious. Biggest fish of the day. Might be one of the biggest fish we catch out of this boat on today's session, but hey, it's a good one. Thank you. It's a pretty fish, honestly. All right, bye. See ya. Pretty fish as he just chucks in the water. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. Two fish, it counts.
First half is looking pretty dusty. Missed some bites. Seems to be the theme for me since I've been since I've been back in Texas. Losing fish, really good at that. I've got that technique down pat. And I actually, I'm gonna start selling uh, an informational DVD. It's called How to Whiff on the Water with John B. Pull up, drink. Hey shot, drink. Sit down, drink. Water's colder over in this part of the lake. Just tied this on last night. I caught a brick with rope on it. <sighs> People, what the? F That's a catch and a half. Someone like literally put that there for me. I think they were like, "Yeah, John's gonna go fish MG. Yeah, let's just tie a, let's tie up a brick and throw it right where he wants to fish." That's probably one of the weirdest things I ever caught. Oh, that was a fish the whole time. That was such a slow bite though. There's one, good one. Good one on the jerk bait. Oh yeah, nice fish. There we go, that is what we're after. On the scout. Oh dude, that's a quality one. I literally just lost a fish and then made another cast and this guy was like, let me get that scout. It's actually not a bad, Texas l &B. very fat. Ate it real good too, that's what we wanna see. I'm just gonna let him play out a little bit. Ooh, he's wiped. Ooh, look a little greasy, you should see this one. Look at how this fish ate the scout. Gone. That jerkbait is absolutely gone. I don't know what's going on with this fish, but he's got like some sort of parasite on him. If you guys know what that is, drop a comment. It's a pretty healthy fish otherwise though. It's it's. Uh, it's a little concerning. I don't know if I should be handling this guy too much. You know what, actually? Here, let's do this. Just recently, I picked up the Guggen Squad Toolkit. We're literally calling it the Toolkit. I thought it had some fancy name. Yeah, if you guys haven't seen these yet, they're available on our store. It's a perfect gift idea. It comes with a scale, cutters, and pliers. The pliers are what I'm gonna need to use right now because, actually, oh, can you help me there? There we go. There we go. Gracias. I really don't need a Guggen hook in my Guggen hand. There we go. Nice fat fish. Hopefully one of many more. Dude, we're getting somewhere. I'm gonna set you down, buddy. Take care now, you hear? You're looking a little dusty. If you guys are struggling with some gift ideas, look no further. This is definitely an awesome Christmas gift for a fishing loved one. It comes with a scale, which is also outfitted with a measuring tape, which is really sweet. It's a 55 pound scale, collapses too, so you can fit it in your pond hopping bag or fit it in a boat storage compartment. The best part, it has got the, the clamp for the for the lip and not the hook. The hook's not good. Oh, what's up? <laughs> what are you gonna say? Okay, let's let's get back on the bite. Um, yeah, link down below. Check them out. They're awesome tools, uh, really high quality stuff. I'm gonna get out of this brush pile and uh, catch more fish. Let's do it. Restriction, no boats within 200 feet. Uh, I'm pretty close, aren't I? A lot more bait over on this side. Oh, look, look at that bass. Dude, there's something wrong with these fish. He probably wants you to catch him so that you eat him and then he just is put out of his misery. As dark as that is, he's, he does not look like he's doing so good. Okay. Oh. You see what I got going what on? What the there? f are you doing? No, no, no. Let me see that. No, I'm bring trying, that over here. I'm trying to get it a little bit lower in the water column. I, I generously go over here to get <laughs> Alex's snag undone, thinking he's just throwing a baby bullshit. And then I see the weight and I'm like, my brain literally just farted. I'm like, what am I looking at right now? This guy's throwing, I mean, I don't even need to, t to say it. It's, it's right in front of your face. I'm appalled, Alex. I'm appalled. I knew you were janky, but what in the f Yeah, you do that. I was so confused why you're able to cast that thing so far. That's a good one. Oh my God. That's a Gasper Goo. It's gotta be. That or it's a donker of a large mouth. It's a Gasper Goo. <laughs> what the hell do I have? This is not fighting like a large mouth. That or a catfish. Weak slam. Oh, it's a big large mouth. Oh my, oh my God, I'm tripping nuts. Holy f that's a big large mouth. Dude, Jesus Christ, that's a good fish. <laughs> Let's go, baby. It's a good one. 
Holy f that's a good large mouth. <laughs> oh my god, it's a f catfish. Oh, no, it's oh my god, dude, that's really big. Yes. Oh my god, holy shit, this is really big, dude. Holy f this is this is giant. You don't have a net? No, no, I don't. I'm gonna have to lip him. Oh no. Holy f this thing's big, dude. Oh my god, it's huge. Dude, it's huge, huge. Wait, 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 wait. I got Alex. I got, I got, I got, I got, I got. We're all good, we're all good, we're all good. We're all good here. <laughs> oh, don't you come off, girl. Don't you come off. I got you. Holy sh dude. Oh my god. What the f Dude, what the f What the f just happened? Oh my god. Dude, that, that's, that might be my personal best bass. You're kidding. No, I'm not, dude. Do you see the f***ing size of this thing? It's big. It's f***ing huge. <laughs> dude, this actually might be like a f***ing nine pounder. What is going on right now? I am losing my mind. Oh my God. Um, Where are the pliers at? Let's get them in the live wall. I am shaking. Oh, I gotta take this out. This is so f***ing big. Holy shit. Dude, that might go like close. Dude, what <laughs> just happened? I've never fought a giant fish so nonchalantly. I was like, eh, it's a gas for goo. This giant, like, 22 inch plus fish comes out of the water. I wish you guys could feel my fing heart. The GoPro probably is recording and it, you could hear it, dude. Oh, I gotta find a fing scale. I know I've got a scale in this boat. I'm pretty sure I do. I'm like legitimately thinking this is the biggest bass ever. I'm like shaking. <laughs> I've calmed myself. I'm sorry. It's not often that I get a fish that big, especially in these conditions. Like it's November. I expect literally nothing. I think in the beginning of this video, I said I had zero expectations. I was thinking today would be like all the way at the bottom, but to catch a fish like that just exploded my mind. Anyway, cut to the chase. We're back at the ramp. The fish is alive and well in the box. Uh, I'm going to go grab some batteries for a scale that we have. And then I think I might have another scale in the truck. I don't know. This is not a good day to not have a scale though, because this could be the biggest bass of the year, if not my whole life. I'll be back. Okay, here we go. This, this is absolutely hectic. I've never done this for a fish before, but I'm convinced this is one of my biggest bass of the year. So what I just did is I hopped in the Land Cruiser, drove 10, here, let's turn this off. Drove 10 minutes to Walmart, picked up some batteries, then came back here, put them in the scale. Now we are going to weigh this girthy, bodacious beauty. I don't know how big she's gonna go. I'm gonna guess definitely over eight, but fingers crossed. Is she still alive? Is she good? Yeah. Yeah, not quite. It looks way bigger than it is. Seven, 12 on the dot. I mean, it's just tough to look at that gut and be like, this is a seven pound, 12 ounce bass, but she is not very long. Thing is huge though, like crazy dimensions. One of the prettiest bass I think I've caught all year. Looks like a pretty small largemouth. Like, I should have caught this thing in March. You know what it looks like? What? It looks like that, uh, Mackenzie? Mackenzie bass, yeah. Yeah. That desert bass. I'm gonna get a quick length on him too, and then I'm gonna send her on her way. We want this good beauty to live. That's the most important part. She's short. She doesn't have the length to be like a ridiculously huge fish. From the nose to the tail, we have just, just under 22 and a half inches. Look at that fish though. Did not expect to come out here and catch a fish that big. So grateful, so thankful. Gonna get a few pictures and send her on her way. Thank you. Oh my, how is that a seven pounder? Oh, you're such a tease. Thank you, big mama. I appreciate you so much. I thought you were way girthier than that. Oh my God. She's so big. She's so big. Woo, we did it boys. We caught, that's actually, I mean, if you want to talk about PBs, that's my biggest winter, fall Texas bass, or just bass in general. Seven pounds, that's absolutely nuts. All right, we're getting to the bank here. We got a few more hours of day left. Let's just make the most of it, keep that momentum going. All right, and we're back after that gong show. Wow, that was exhilarating. I want to do that all over again. I was looking at the graph all the way up to this point leading up, and I was seeing just tons of bait balls right on the, the edge, and they were suspended. You know, they were like in about nine feet, sitting about five and that's exactly what this jerk bait does it sits right in the middle of the water column that big old bird that probably saw that thing was like "Ooh, let me get some of them shad leaves ate it and got a mouthful of troubles but yeah there's there's shad flickering all over the place before that fish bit pretty money scenario it's so funny like my biggest bass ever that nine looked nothing like it did there's like no it didn't even look like it was nine pounds I 
first one. Decent one. Ate it on the paws, right next to that tree. Feels pretty good, dude. Might be another honker. I don't know. Feels good as hell. Oh yeah, it's a good fish. Quality. Another quality largemouth. This jerkbait thing is so much fun. Come here, Bubba. What the hell? You guys gotta see this fish. He's got like a dot on his gill, like a bluegill. In the boat you come, fat fish. These shad eaters, they get so bulky. Yeah, these fish are still bulking up. They're, they're in that bulk mode, getting ready for the really cold temps. It gets pretty nasty here in, in North Texas. Like you'll get snow, it'll drop down to the 20s. And when it does that, these fish just don't want to feed. So that's one of the reasons why we're still able to catch them on moving baits like this. That guy just ate right by standing timber. Very typical, like textbook type stuff. Nice, probably close to two bounder. Take care. That one was on the pause too. He just ate it as soon as I stopped twitching. Very interesting. There we go. I'm on. Fish. Doesn't feel huge, but it's a bass. Maybe it is huge. It's starting to get a little bit bigger now. I don't know. Oh no, just a wee little guy. Just changed spots, fishing this point. Still throwing the scout, and we are hooked up to another little Jimmy. They're getting smaller. <laughs> I know, sick, eh? You wanna see him? Dog's cheering me on. <laughs> Ooh, spazzy, spazzy. Dude, look at this one. This one has some stuff going on too, I think. Hang on. Oh God, I'm asking for it. Yeah, look at that. He's got some sort of lesion. There's something weird going on in this water. These fish aren't doing so hot. Despite the fact that that seven pounder looked like perfect, like absolutely immaculate. Literally touching the barbs as I'm unhooking this guy. That was like the longest unhooking I've ever had to do. All right, thank you. Yeah, you're worth it. See how dark you got there? That was weird. All right, cool. That's four fish on a new lake. Not bad, not bad at all. Yeah! Oh, yeah. Oh, no, man. Next time I can't wear the Makis. <laughs> did you just call them Makis? Yeah, I did. And just like that, we are back where we began today's video. I know I've been in Texas for quite some time, but I've not really gotten on the bass fishing grind in many, many moons. So it was great to splash the Lund. This boat has not seen a whole lot of action. I think up until today, my biggest fish out of this thing was like three, four pounds, which is pretty weak considering the white low. Got a lot of love for some girthy ones, but it's fun. If you guys wanna see more bass fishing videos mixed in with house content, ranch content or micro ranch content, whatever you wanna call it, uh, drop a comment down below. I'm more into the everyday grind when, it, when you know, March comes around all the way into May when that spawn season happens, but it is good to get out for some winter fall sessions. Apparently it pays off. I would love to learn some new fisheries around here. And yeah, I just sincerely appreciate you guys hanging out with me today, catching some fish and just having a good old time. But uh, I'm peacing out, signing out. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. And as always, folks, keep fishing, never stop.